Hey guys, Michelle here at uh, the Looney Bin. Another great weekend, another great ladies' night Thursday night. And I interviewed Lenny. It was a fantastic show. You guys definitely should come check it out. Um, thanks for watching our videos. If you like us, please subscribe. Uh, check us out on our social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Looney Bin Wichita. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good week. I have two daughters, they're 15 and 12. My youngest is 12, and she's the wild card, and she's always, she's a lot of trouble. And when, she's, and when she was young, she lied, and she was good at it. And, you, and she, would never, she wouldn't crack. You could look her in the face, and she would go, I don't know what you're talking about. So they had a, they had a student election at the school once, uh, that she was in, she was in fourth grade, and they were run, there was a boy and a girl running for student council. She went through the school, tore down all the girl posters, or all the boy posters, <laughs> Because she wanted the girl to win. Uh -huh. And they have it all on video. Uh -huh. So they call me down to the office. I go to the principal's office. I see the video. They bring in Lily. And Lily sits down. And we start to talk to her. And, she goes, and we go, Lily, do you, have, do you have something you want to tell us? She's like, no. And she's like, nothing at all? No. And she wouldn't crack. She was like, she was like Jack Nicholson in A Few Good Men. She was like hardcore. You're like, Lily, did you do something wrong? I did nothing wrong. Can I leave now? Like, no, Lily, I, I, are you sure there's nothing you want to say? No, I've got nothing to say. Did you climb up on that wall, Lily, and tear down posters? You need me on that wall. You want me on that wall. Lily, I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Go, Lily, you, we saw you. We have a video of you tearing down six posters. I only tore down three. <laughs> well, it didn't work because he won anyway. The boy won. She's like, that's not my president. That's not my president. You spend with that person 20, 30, 40, 50 years every single day pushing their buttons. <laughs> yeah, marriage is a contest. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get up every good morning, you look at each other in the face, and you go, I'm not going to file for divorce. You talk to me. <laughs> Fuck, where was it? Okay, well, here's what happens at the end of a marriage. You start to fight, you fight every night. At the end of a marriage, you fight every single night. Every night you come home, there's a fight. Every night you walk through the door, there's a fucking fight. Every night! Every fucking night! And you fight about the same shit, the fights never change. It's always about the house, job, the kids, whatever. They always have the same fights. But the thing is, if you're fighting so much now, you fight so often, the fights sound rehearsed. <laughs> it's the same words coming out of your mouth every night. It's like doing a scene from a play every night. You just don't know what play. Because she's the director. She calls all the shots. So I'd walk in the door and she'd be pissed off and I'd be like, all right, what are we doing tonight? I have no idea where we're at. What's, what are we at? Help me out, anything. And I'm clueless until she looks at me and goes, you were supposed to be home hours ago. And then I know, like, oh, we're doing a scene from You're Never Home. Got it, all right. Let me see if I can remember my lines. It's so very difficult to say. My name is Lenny Schmidt. I've been doing comedy almost, almost 30 years, 29 years, 29 wow. years. That's awesome. How'd you yeah. get started? Uh, I guess I always thought about doing comedy, uh, but one day I moved to LA right when I got out of high school, and I was walking down Sunset Boulevard out in front of the comedy store, and as I was standing outside, they dropped a banner while I was standing by the ticket office that said, Sam Kinson tonight, one night only, uh, he's taping his second album. I go, well, we gotta go. And it was the first time I ever saw a live comedy show in my life, but Sam, we was in the, it was in the main room of the comedy store, 300 people stood and watched him do comedy. Wow. And I was like, I couldn't believe the power that guy brought on stage. It, it blew me away. <laughs> so I started doing comedy like a week later. It's simple. It's very, mine's very, it's WordPress, so it's very, it's simple. And I run it all, but it's yeah. all connected to all my, my Twitter. Everything I post goes all through one thing. So it all, it comes out the same way. Oh, LennySchmidt.com is the web, LennySchmidt.com is the website. And then you can find me on Facebook, Twitter. Mr. Lenny Schmidt is the Twitter. And then uh, I have two albums on iTunes. I like to address the crowd quickly because mm -hmm. I like to try to work off them as much as possible. Like I hit the kid, there was a kid over here that was 18. Mm -hmm. So I jumped on him right away, the two girls up front and the group over here. And then once I had those three people to work with, every, there were jokes I could call them back throughout. Here's what happens at the end of a marriage. Here's what happens at the end of a You, sporky. You, you. <laughs> How old are you, brother? You're 18, <laughs> holy shit, look at you. Life has yet to punch you in the fucking head, man. You got, <laughs> you got, yeah, you got a whole bunch of shit to look forward to, trust me. There's all kinds of DUIs and lawyers and all kinds of shit in your future. 
Uh, is it Gloria Kim's girlfriend or anything? Uh, no, you're not okay. Wait, what? What? Is it you? What'd you say? I'm lucky. Lucky you? Are you chasing a girl or chasing a girl? <laughs> I mean, you're, 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 you're divorced, correct? Both of you ladies clapped and divorced. You were happy, right? She's doing old No, the director. She's old boot production right there. Being, like, I'm not a mean comic. Like, I, I don't make fun of him in a mean way. I'll point him out so that everybody knows who he is, and then I'll call him back a bunch of times throughout the show. And it'll be kind of a... I like to do a joking with as opposed to making fun of you. You know what I mean? Kind of like you're busting your buddy's balls. But then when I got divorced... I went back on the road, and I, my life changed a lot. I did. I I went to therapy. I, I, there's a whole bit about therapy I didn't do tonight, and I read the book. Uh, I'm really into Buddhism and the Power of Now, so I learned uh, to de on a personal level to deal with all that. But the challenge then was to keep the comedy funny because my comedy is all based in anger and frustration and some sort of pain. So once you learn off stage to deal with that the proper way to channel it. I still got to learn to process it on stage to make it funny to people because it's not funny for me to stand up here for 30 minutes and go, I'm totally cool with the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, yeah. you, so it's only the way this is kind of like the place where I vent yeah. and let all this shit come out. Yeah. Honesty is a huge part of comedy. My favorite comics are Sam, of course, Pryor. Mm -hmm. Those are my two favorite comics. Mm -hmm. And again, and of course, I loved Robin for what he did. Robin Williams and I loved George Carlin because he was a genius. Mm -hmm. But, but Sam and, and Richard could bring pain and real life on stage mm -hmm. and make it funny um, to people who were in pain. One thing my mom always taught me, and she was a really big fan of Bob Newhart and mm -hmm. stuff, but she was like, make fun of shitty situations mm -hmm. is kind of a way to get through mm -hmm. tough situations. Yeah. But I found a way to make it funny and make a joke with it. And everybody goes through a lot of shit. And if you can just find a way to find humor in everything, there really is humor in everything. Yeah. And if you can find that humor, it makes life a lot, a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty rough. I, honestly, this sounds caveman-ish. Oh, I like you. You're the best. <laughs>